Hey guys, welcome to the top three assets for Unity for September 2018. So sorry, this is slightly late, but it's still free assets at the end of the day. So the first one is something called the Dark Fantasy Kit 3. It's a light version of the bigger pack and it contains 20 modular PBR prefabs for the use in Unity 5.6 and higher. It has various models and elements, including doors, decorations, furnitures, light sources, chests, with materials and textures up to 2K, all with a PBR setup. And the next one is something called Ultimate Console, and this is just like Unity's normal console, but it lets you to add, with it being open source, it lets you add functionality, um, things that have already been created, and things that you might want to add yourself, so it includes a search bar, so you'll be able to filter through already things that might have been in the actual log in Unity. It lets you ignore classes, have custom tags, use native logs, and it has a lot of additional functionality that you can see below, and it'll just help you fine tune everything that goes on, which you will get logged out in the console. And the next one, as the name suggests, is Rusty Flashlight, and it's one dirty looking flashlight with three LODs between 400 and 900 triangles and it contains a prefab with a script so you can turn the light on and off and the next one is the free 48 gem icon pack and it includes a selection of gems in different styles every gem has eight sizes six different gems with different symbols and the total elements is 451 png files so there's a whole host of selection of different gems in unity 2018.2 and above and it's something called lesser imp and it's a high quality character with three meshes for the body, eyes and the cloth and it's about a poly count of 6000 triangles with the textures 4k for the body, 2k for the cloth and 1k for the eye. And it's rigged and ready to use in the mechanism for animations. And the next one is something called the hand painted simply pack. And it's hand painted ground, floor, wall, textures all which are seamlessly tieable as you can see it includes it includes seven different materials with textures, all 512 by 512. And the next one is the Evil Spirit Katana Cinematic Sword, and it's suggested as a AAA quality sword. So it has a lot of different supported things with it. You can use it in your own games, and it's around 36,000 polygons or triangles, it doesn't suggest, but it's a high poly um, item if you're going to use it for specifically for a character or for just the main prop item for your game. The next one is something called Blocky Snakes Asset Pack, and this is the demo and it's going to be a bigger package and it includes and it includes three snakes a head body tail module optimized with shadow casters and menu animations one environmental theme obstacle models for the environmental theme game objects pickups and items and this next one is the low poly survival modular vr and mobile kit and it's a selection of walls roofs paths with 126 prefabs, 4 effects, with a whole host of different assets from lots of buildings, items and other stuff to go along with it. And last but not least is the HD Dry Tree. And it's a scan of a tree using a PBR workflow with 3 sets of LODs between 400 and 3500 roughly. And it's a pretty cool looking scanned dead tree. So again, thanks very much for watching all these assets for September, so be sure to check them out, and be sure to thank all the developers for the hard work. So thanks again for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers!